What is going on everybody? It's been a while, but I'm here with some updates and a bunch of new gear and I figured y'all would want to check it out with me. Let's do it. So what's been going on? I haven't had a, a time to create anything in just a little bit. Uh, we've been settling into the new house. We're getting pretty good with that now. I had my birthday last week, had a lot going on. I've been pouring some jigs still uh, for myself and for some other people. Uh, I want them to try some things that I've been working on and let me know what they think. You know, the weather's been really crappy. It's cold. It's We're in the Midwest. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's winter time. It kind of seems like lately that if we have a nice day, which we get one once in a while, I'm at work, I'm stuck at work, I'm tattooing, I can't really get out, you know, or I have other obligations that I gotta handle. So I haven't been able to get out and fish, you know, and then, uh, and then on the really cold days, yeah, I got, I got nothing going on. I got nothing going on, but I can't fish because it's like 32 degrees and I'm not willing to uh, deal with that at the moment. But springtime is right around the corner and I'm getting ready for that. I am gonna be fishing tournaments on the club level this year, which I'm really excited about. I have 10 scheduled uh, that I have everything kind of planned out between April, the first one I'm fishing in is in April all the way till November. I will be filming those as much as possible. I mean, I haven't really got to that point yet where I've had to deal with all that, you know, bringing, bringing my cameras and fishing gear and everything on other people's boats, you know, it's going to be two man teams and I'll be on a lot of different boats doing different things. Um, so it won't be the same setup every time. I'll have to figure that out, but it shouldn't be that big a deal. I should at least be able to get something out of it and we'll see where we land throughout the year uh, with these tournaments. So with it being my birthday last week, I did a couple things. Well, more, I bought a couple things. Uh, one of the first things I bought is I wanted to try something from Daiwa and I heard uh, some people talking about the CR80. I wanted to try something. To me, I think, you know, I've heard some good things about the CR80, but to me, something that I was thinking in my head is I really do like my Shimano SLX reel. This reel comes in at a bit of a lower price point but it has more bearings, has better weight, it's a little more compact. The one big difference is the braking system. Uh, this one has a magnetic braking system. I paired it with the Arid X rod. I went with the seven foot medium heavy fast action rod, uh, which is kind of my standard go-to. Another thing I went ahead and bought, which is a big project I'm dealing with right now, is what we're sitting everything on at the moment upside down i bought a 14 foot aluminum john boat i'm sure you've seen a lot of people turn the john boats into mini bass boats well that is pretty much the plan i've grinded the boat all the way down i've primed it i've painted it and now I'm ready to flip it back over and do some painting on the inside, start framing it for the casting decks. I will have a whole video coming up where I kind of just go through start to finish on the boat. I'm just trying to get this thing ready before spring, so I've been spending a lot of time in the garage doing this and pouring jigs and uh, popping out once in a while um, to the fishing show, to some of the stores, I have my uh, subscription boxes coming in. So that's something I want to talk about next. The Six Sense subscription box. I know I've been for months going through these, opening them, showing you what's in them, going dollar for dollar of how much I spend and how much they're sending me in baits. Well, to be honest with you, it's not really that fun and I'm kind of bored with doing it. And every month, it's great. You know, every every month they send me things that I wanted, things that I didn't know I wanted, but I'm excited to try for a good price and a great return on what I'm spending. I'm usually between $50 and $55 worth of gear for $27 a month on the premium subscription. So if you want to, I highly suggest doing that 
to me it's worth it. I love it. I'm stocking up on a lot of things, especially through the winter time. I'm just going to open these with you and we're both going to see together what's in these boxes for the last two months because neither one of them have been opened yet. So I went to the Let's Go Fishing show out in Illinois and the only thing I really bought from anybody besides some jig skirts to try on some of my handmade jigs is from the Omega Tackle Company. They're a Missouri based company and they had some really cool stuff and they had some deals on some plastics. So I was happy to pick up a deal on some plastics. Oh, the plastics I picked up from them while I was there. Um, I have the D-Bombs in Love Bug and Copper Chopper. And these things look wonderful. I'm excited to rig these up. These are gonna be great pitching through some heavy cover and I am excited to try those. I also picked up the Biospawn Exo Swim 4 inch and I think these will make some great trailers. I'm really excited to use these on some of my chatter baits and swim jigs. I also picked up a Rapture swim jig from them in like a bluegill color. I thought the colors were really crazy in this so I'm really excited to put that in the arsenal and give that a shot. I also picked up a half ounce spinner bait. I really like the colors on this one too. I like the double willow blades. They're pretty large in comparison to the to the jig itself. Uh, the back blade is huge. I think that will attract some bites, but that will be soon to see. But yes, Omega Tackle, awesome people. I had a lot of fun talking with them at the show. I just been collecting things in anticipation for spring, but I also picked up some things. Uh, just this bag is just full of random stuff. <laughs> uh, I got some more chartreuse trout worms because I ran out of those because the trouts attacked all of them. And if if I decide I want to go out and fish for any more trout this season, that is on the table. I have a friend Jerry. He swears by this color of Cinco, standard Cinco, but he's all about these special order, special, it's called Huckleberry. It is a weird color. I don't know if you can see that. It is a really cool color though. It's like a purplish June bug, candy June bug on the top and like almost like a lemon pepper on the bottom yellowish green green flakes this is a wild color he swears by these so he gave me a pack of these uh i gave him some jigs that i made and everyone walked away from the deal happy for the new diawa rod i have some 14 pound uh fc sniper fluoro i'm going to be putting on that the other day i stopped in the cabela's and I seen that they had skirts, pre-banded skirts made by Z-Man. They have them in some incredible colors, like really cool combinations. And while I have enjoyed making my own skirts, um, I just thought it was really cool that they had a bunch of pre-banded skirts in some really neat patterns that I could just grab and go. So really, if I just want to pump out some quick jigs uh that have skirts i can pour the jigs powder paint them cool them and throw some of these on there and i'm ready to go i can fill up my tackle box pretty quickly with just some pre-banded skirts uh that just kind of cuts that just kind of cuts a bunch of time out as far as the z-man plastics go um i went ahead and got some finesse trd uh ned rig baits I got these in Junebug because I have Junebug powder paint and I've been making some Ned Rig heads with Junebug. So I really wanted to put some Junebug Ned Rigs together. I really do like the Elastec of the Z-Man products. So I went ahead and got some Zinkers. It's uh, I bought some Green Pumpkin Red Flake. Again, that's a color that I throw a lot around here. And so to give it a fair chance, I wanted to get a color that I use a lot um, and just see the difference in what the material is. And in my theory, 
I really think I'm gonna like these on a shaky head especially. Something I had a lot of success on this summer that I really want to get out there and throw again, especially in these club tournaments, because I caught some big fish on these, is the old monster from Zoom. So I went ahead and got the same thing I had last year that I ran through packs of these. Um, I got the 10 and a half inch green pumpkin of the old monster. This year I'm doing June bug shaky heads. Uh, these aren't June bug, but it's called sprayed grass, which is basically a June bug color. And I thought the color was really awesome. I think these will pair really well with a June bug shaky head. Now, the moment I've been waiting for is to see what's been coming to me in these past two months box. Honestly, uh, I don't, I don't have a date on these, and they're identical. So um, one is from this month, and one is from uh, January. So my plan isn't to go through each one and tell you what I think about it and everything about it. Uh, I might make some comments along the way, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go through and, you know, add up all the money. We're just going to go through it, see what's in the bag, and uh, see what we got. I'm doing nothing at this point, fishing-wise, except for filling out my tackle box. Let's see what we got. We have a Curve 55. This is a crazy color. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like a, it's it's a matte paint job. It's not glossy. Really cool color. Crush Flat 75X. Oh, I really wanted one of these bad. I got the Provoke. Yes, great jerk bait. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about these. Uh, this is slow float, floating, suspending. This is. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to order. This keeps happening. Every time I get these boxes, there's at least one thing in there that I already wanted to order and I hold off just in case. And there it is. I am excited to have that in my arsenal. Crush 250 MD, big dog, and a Snatch 70X lipless. I love lipless. All right, one last thing in the bag, some titanium fishing scissors. I like any scissors that cut braid. The next box, this was right on top. That tells me everything in it, but I don't want to look. I want to know what's in the bag when I look at the bag. Crush 50X in more of a perch color, gold. Movement 80 in a chartreuse color. A Swank 77 in Black Magic, the Divine Hybrid Jig. A Swim Crank. See, this is one of those things. It's a jointed crankbait. This is what I'm talking about. This is, this is something that I didn't know I wanted. I didn't even know they had this. I guess I never even made it to this part of the website. Some 4 out stout wide gap hooks. These will be great for pitching and flipping and some heavy cover. And some green pumpkin divine shaky worms. I tell you what, my plastic game is gonna be on point come spring. I'm not gonna have to go to the store for a while. So that's it. That's the update. That's what I got going on. That's what's been going on with me. I'm going to work on filming some more stuff. I have been shooting some things for this boat build because I want to put this together as one collective video. I would really like to get out and do some fishing. Uh, we're coming into March here shortly and we might have some nice days coming up and hopefully I'm free. I can get out. Winter has been rough. I haven't been able to do much except for fish for trout, which I enjoy, but lake fishing for trout, I don't know. Lake fishing for trout to me isn't really that big of a challenge. Now stream fishing is, and I really do enjoy that as well. That is a reason why I like the bass fish, because to me it is more of a challenge. Yes, I can catch bass, but I want to catch a bigger one. I want to catch bigger numbers, and that's what keeps me coming back. Really excited about my birthday buys, the new rod reel. Excited to try that out. I'm excited to get this boat done. I'll be flipping it over today to get onto the inside. While I do enjoy being in the garage and some quiet, just enjoying some time to myself making some jigs, I do want to film some more videos of making jigs just to kind of show how I've been doing it. So maybe it'll inspire some other people to maybe do their own or get some ideas of what they would like to do. This video has been fun. I'm glad I got to share all this new tackle with you guys. 
you'll be seeing this in a lot of upcoming videos. But now's my favorite part where I get to clean all this stuff up and go to work. I got some tattoos to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. That'll notify you when I got a new video up next. Let's get out there, let's catch some fish. It's gonna be a big year, and I'm excited to bring a bunch of new content to you guys, so stay tuned.